What's up, guys? Wiggy here, workingclassfitness.com, and I want to talk about the probably the most misapplied and misdefined word in the entire fitness industry. Um, and it, it's a word that gets used a lot. It has you know one general meaning, uh, but depending upon who you talk to or what you know branch or subset, whatever you want to call it, of the fitness industry, it means something different. Um, and it's, it ends up you know, really resulting in a lot of communication issues because you've got your trainers or coaches or whatever saying it in one vein, meaning one thing, and then people reading it think they mean something else. And that's the term intensity. Now, depending upon who you talk to, intensity has a totally different meaning. You know, if you talk to just your normal you know, gym-going regular guy or girl, whatever, more often than not, they're gonna term intensity as how hard you're working. You know, you know, an intense workout equates to a hardcore workout or a kick-ass workout. You went in and just knocked the shit out of yourself. Um, if you talk to bodybuilders, in, an intense workout generally means uh, you know, maybe very slow, controlled, uh, you're very uh, focused on the contraction, you know, really uh, you know, trying to develop that muscular, uh, uh, you know, fo focus specifically on that, that muscle, that sort of thing. If you're talking to the strength training community and the, what the appropriate definition of intensity is, is uh, intensity is a measurement um, of your maximum capability. And the more intense something is, the more close or the closer it is to your maximum capability within a particular type of uh, exercise or movement or whatever. So if you're talking about strength, the closer you, you are to your 1RM, um, the heavier it is, the more intense it is. If you're talking about, let's say, a sprinter, and a sprinter can run 100 meters in such and such time, the time that's closest to that um, is going to be more intense. You know, so the the slower the time gets, like if a sprinter can run 100 meters in 11 seconds, 11.5 uh, is going to be more intense than 12 seconds, which is going to be more intense than 12.5. That's uh, sort of a thing. So. Whenever you're reading, you know, know that um, and, and know that the, the real appropriate definition of intensity is in relation to your maximum capability. Um, so, you know, we talked about strength, we talked about, let's say, speed. Another possible example is let's say you hit the chin up bar and the most number of chin ups you can do, you know, without stopping, and I mean regular chin ups, not the kipping bullshit you see out there. Um, let's say the most number of chin ups you can do without stopping is uh, 15. Well, a set of 13 would be more intense than a set of 12, which would be more intense than a set of 9, you know, that sort of a thing. Again, it's all in relation to what your maximum capability is for a given you know, performance or test or whatever. So make sure whenever you're uh, you know, watching a, a video you know, about fitness training or strength training or whatever, um, or you're you know, reading an article or whatever, Make sure you have an idea of where that person's coming from and when they use the term intensity, what it is they really mean. Because what I see is I see, you know, I see paths crossing. And I see one person that's writing, uh, you know, or is, is creating content, you know, whether, again, it's a video or a podcast or an article or whatever. Um, you'll see somebody using the term intensity and they mean it one way, then the person who's consuming the content, the person that's reading that article or watching that video or what have you, they think intensity means something else, and more often than not, the the when those paths cross, what happens is you've got, let's say, a strength coach or a trainer that's using intensity in the you know, appropriate manner, you know, meaning uh, as close to their max you know, max uh, capacity or capability as possible. But when somebody's reading it, they're reading the term intensity as you know hardcore or you know kicking the hell out of yourself, you know. So you might have, because the two aren't, um, while you, know, you would think that the two, you know, still, they, they, they're, they're going to be congruent, they're not. You can go in and have an intense workout in, in terms of, you know, close to your max capacity. I could come in and uh, bench press, and if my max bench press is 250 pounds, I can have a quote-unquote intense workout by doing three sets of one, um, with 230 pounds. That is intense by the true definition of the word. Or I can come in and I can put 185 on the bar and I can do 100 damn reps for as many sets as I need just 
you know, blast 100 reps. That's going to knock the hell out of me. You see the difference? You know, uh, one is hard, one is intense. You know, because, it, and again, it all ends up being about how you define the word intensity and, you know, making sure that, um, that, you know, when you're consuming somebody else's content, that you're defining the term intensity the same way they are. Or, you know, that, the, that you know how it is they're defining it when they're using it uh, within the context of uh, when they're prescribing a workout or an article or whatever. So make sure you know that from, you know, from now on when you're reading uh, or consuming somebody's uh, content about, you know, training or working out or whatever, make sure that, you, and they use the term intensity, make sure you, you try to get an idea of what it is they mean by intensity so that you're not reading into it that it means something different than uh, what it actually, they're actually trying to, the uh, point they're trying to get across. So that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, like and share this video on Facebook. Tweet it out to all your pals on Twitter. And don't forget to sign up for my working class newsletter. There's going to be a link coming up at the end of this video. Click on that link. Go enter in your email address. And I'll be sure to let you know when all the YouTube, new YouTube videos come out. I'll send you uh, tips and advice on how to you know, build muscle and get stronger and get in fighting shape, improve your conditioning. And I'll even go ahead and send you a free sample of working class fitness killer MMA workouts. Sound good? Awesome. Catch you later, and until then, train hard, rest hard, play hard.